So, first of all, Christian, as I just explained, I really think Darnold's perfect for you. You get a big, strong kid. He's dynamic. I love I love Teddy Bridgewater, but I do think he adds a dimension athletically that you know Teddy didn't bring. So, your thoughts? Um, have you met Sam? Have you talked to him? Have you worked out with him? Where Where are you with Sam right now, Christian? Yeah. Well, first off, Colin, thanks for having me on. Man. You bet. Uh, obviously, big fan. But yeah, you know, Sam. Uh, I've I've known him for a long time. Played against him at USC. Um, you know, and kind of been following his career since. And uh, worked out with him a few times. And now that we're all back here at the facility, you know, just being able to see, um, you know, not just you know his talent from his arms, uh, from his arm strength to his, um, you know, just ability to, to uh, look at a defense and understand where to go with the ball, but, but his leadership as well. And uh, he's a guy that's very easy to get to know, but, but is a great leader on the field. So uh, we're all super excited to have him. You know, it's interesting, Christian. I met he and his family years ago, and Sam's not a guy that seeks attention. He's kind of a regular kid, played volleyball on the beach with a beer. He'd be just as happy as going, you know, to something fancy. And and tell people a little bit about his personality, because that's one of the things that draws me to him. He's such a regular guy. And I do think professional athletes like the idea that he doesn't want to be a he don't want to get the attention. He just wants to be one of the dudes. Yeah, you know, he, he's a football guy. He wants to win. Um, you know, he's the, that's the only thing that's on his mind is winning. Uh, you know, he's a very humble, great person. You know, you talk to him off the field, he treats everybody with respect. Um, he doesn't walk around, you know, like he's more important than anybody else. And, and, you know, but at the end of the day, when it comes to practice, he knows what it takes to win. And a lot of that happens uh, when, when you haven't had success, you know, and, and I know that from firsthand experience. Um, and so just – you know, getting to know both sides of them, the, the player and the, and the person off the field is, uh, you know, you, you, you know what you're going to get with him. And, and that's what's so exciting because he's great on the field and he's an even better guy off the field. Well, I, I'm a fan of Matt Rule. And first of all, last year he comes in, he drafts all defense because he feels, and he's right, I got some offensive pieces I like. This year he paid a little more attention to the offense. So tell me how Matt Rule – Tell me what the offense is, because I think you guys actually have some really nice offensive pieces. I thought you needed to upgrade at left tackle. You did. But tell me about his offense. Is it complicated? Does it take a while? Is it simple? What's Sam walking into, Christian? Well, I think the biggest thing for us is, is uh, and it's like every year, you know, every play is designed to work. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of times teams can overcomplicate things and, uh, players can overcomplicate things, but at the end of the day, it's football, and uh, it's 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 you know throwing the ball to the right guy, it's catching it, it's breaking tackles, it's making plays, and um, you know players win games. So I think Sam knows that, everybody else on our team knows that, Coach Rule knows that, Coach Brady knows that, Coach Snow knows that, and so uh, for us, it's just taking it day by day and honing in on the details. You know, it's so early right now, and we have so many new guys and moving pieces that. We're trying to figure out exactly what we're good at and, and execute that to the fullest. So it's interesting. Last year you had a quad injury, a shoulder injury, and a bunch of stuff. It was a little bit everything kind of just it's being a running back in the NFL. Where are you physically now, and what did you really this offseason, Christian, what did you have to attack with your body? What did you have to do? Uh, you know, I, I feel great right now. Uh, I feel really good. I'm, I'm at 100% everywhere. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to have any major surgeries. So, um, you know, it was obviously a down year. It happens, but, you know, I'm not going to harp on it, and I'm focused on this year. Um, but really, it's just a constant moving process, you know, constantly figuring out what the, you know, next best thing is. And, and it's also relying on on the, the fundamentals of training, and that's kind of what I've gone back to. And I feel great, and I'm ready to go. So one of the draft picks, I was talking with Joy the other day but around the draft, and I said, every year there's a couple guys drafted, and you can't believe that a team got them in like a third or a fourth round or a fifth round. And Chuba Hubbard is really good. And I said, oh, my Lord, Sam didn't have a running game in New York. I get Christian McCaffrey, and his backup is Chuba Hubbard. Have you watched Chuba? Do you know his game? What do you know? Have you seen him play? Yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting to see, you know, what he can do with the ball in his hands. Um, you know, obviously with the success he had in college, you know he can do it. Um, you know, and, and I look at a guy like him who uh, is good at a lot of different things and works hard and takes notes and asks all the right questions, and that's really what you, 
what you want in a rookie right now is just somebody who's going to hone in on the details and, uh, you know, make all the right decisions uh, as far as protections and, and the playbook goes. But, you know, we have such a good running back room right now. And, you know, guys like Reggie Bonifant as well and, and Rodney Smith and, and Darius Clark and all these other guys who have come in and, and really done a good job. So it's just fun being able to work with all those guys every day. You are the only running back in, in, in league history with multiple 100 catch seasons. I've talked to general managers in the league, and they say McCaffrey could start in this league as a wide receiver. You really, and it's funny, you, you know, your dad, I remember your dad, and your dad was a lot stronger than people thought, and he was a lot faster than people thought. In fact, I've asked NFL players before about your dad, and they're like, he was a long strider. If he got ahead of you, it was over. You take incredible pride in receiving. If, if I said to you, Christian, you're going to peel off a 48-yard run, you're going to make two guys miss between the tackles, touchdown. Or you take a swing pass, and you'd make a tough one-handed catch, haul it in, run for a touchdown. What highlight gets you more jacked up? Uh, the, the points always, man. I mean, I'll take points any day of the week. Uh, you know, if, if any time you can put the ball in the end zone, uh, I'll take that. But, uh, but no, you know, I, I definitely take a lot of pride in being able to run routes at all the positions and catch the ball. You know, it's just another way to put the ball in my hands, and uh, that's what I love to do most. So definitely take a lot of pride in it. Did your dad, was he disappointed when you chose running back over wide receiver because he was a real good wide receiver? <laughs> no, he didn't. He wasn't disappointed. You know, I, uh, I'm the, the runt of the family. All my brothers are much taller than I am. So I, I you know, I'm, I'm the short one and, and always play running back. And, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I, you know, I started when I was seven and, you know, the running back gets the ball every time. I, I, I wasn't a quarterback and the running back gets the ball every play. So I, I wanted to get the ball and stuck with running back since then. Yeah, it's worked out pretty well for you. Uh, by the way, the Christian McCaffrey Foundation announced its 22 and Troops campaign in support of military communities. Tell us about it. It's in Charlotte. Info's at 22andtroops.org. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's something I'm really excited about. Um, my foundation, we just now we're doing a concert July 2nd at the Fillmore in North Carolina in Charlotte. And, uh, you know, something for me, being a guy who, who loves music, it's Zach Bryan, who's a singer-songwriter, country music artist. Yeah. Uh, and all the proceeds to this concert are going to my foundation and we've partnered with a lot of different people um we've partnered with reboot recovery which is a organization that takes a lot of pride in taking you know kind of a 360 approach to helping vets with ptsd uh come back in, into you know a normal life or as normal as we can get um it's something i'm i have a lot of pride in i'm very passionate about you know i heard the stat that 22 veterans commit suicide every single day and that woke me up you know and that that doesn't even account for the the thousands of um, ones who go through PTSD and depression and mental health, health issues all the time. So this is something, you know, for the Charlotte community or anyone else that wants to come out. Um, like Colin said, you can get your tickets at uh, uh, 22introops.org and, and, uh, or my website, which is on my Instagram and my bio. And, uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely really excited about it. I'm playing piano too, Colin. So oh boy. my first time too. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't mess it up. You Stanford guys, you got all the brains, you're athletes, you're playing the piano. Well, say hi to Sam Darnold. I really do love the two guys are coming together now, Darnold and Christian McCaffrey. I, I, first of all, I don't even need to watch anybody else. I'm just watching Panther games. I'm, the rest of the league, I'm not even interested in. Christian, it's great seeing you. Appreciate it. Great seeing you too. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.